Hi, Freedom Family. You can now follow my heartbeat and I can follow your heartbeat on heartbeat.love by clicking this follow button here. The link is down there in the description below. That lets you see all the things I love and lets me see all the things you love when we follow each other's heartbeat. Let me show you some of the cool things that I love, starting with my favorites. So I'll show you one of my favorite scenes from The Princess Bride. Do you Where's remember the this, poison? guys? The battle of wits has begun. It ends when you decide and we both drink and find out who is right. It's a classic movie, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's very funny, very clever. Here's something else, a slow motion replay of Mike Tyson getting knocked out by Buster Douglas. Now there's two moments here. You can see this is the slow motion one, which is pretty cool. But there's the actual one right here. This is the in real time, no slow motion. Here's where he knocks him out. Boom, boom. One, two, three. Mike is down for the count. Pretty cool moment. I captured this just by pressing the H key while watching this video on YouTube. You can do the same. That's how you build your heartbeat of exciting moments that you love, that you can then share with other people like me so I can see what you love and then follow your heartbeat if we have shared interests. So let me show you how that works. Here I am on YouTube. Let's say I'm just watching a random video like this boxing video. And as I come across a cool moment, like, ooh, that was a cool punch, press H. So I just created a moment, heartbeat moment. That's why it's called the H key. And you can see it right here. It's called moment three. Now it includes the other two that I already made. This is a new moment, moment three. Click, just right there it is. Now that's not the exciting moment. Let me back up a bit. I can modify it to get to that punch. Where did it happen? Right there. So I can go a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. There it is. Now I can call this my new favorite moment, Big Punch. Save it. Now anytime I click Big Punch, boom. Big Punch, boom. There it is. This is the power of heartbeat moments. While watching any YouTube video, press H, and then you can adjust the time to get it exactly right to the exact frame of the moment. And when you're on Heartbeat, you can see your moments and everyone else can see your favorite moments right here. So you can see my heartbeat. Right there is my big punch moment. I can click it and there it is. Boom. I can click it again just to watch it over and over again if I want to. Where do you get Heartbeat moments? So you can do this. Simply go to heartbeatmoments.com down there in the description below. When you click it, you will come to this page. Just click Add to Chrome. Here is the good example. You would click Add to Chrome. And then you'd be able to go to YouTube and press the H key on any YouTube video. There are more things I love that I want to share with you. Not videos, but photos. Here are my favorite photos of beautiful scenes that I've collected over the years. Where do you get these? Just go to heartbeat.photos. The link is down there in the description below. After you sign in, you will see a list of all the public galleries of all the other people who've been uploading photos now. There's over 2,000 photos on Heartbeat Photos from people like you, so join the club. Heartbeat Photos is a better way to view your photos. Now let me go to my galleries and show you the beautiful scenes gallery right here. That I was just uh, just showing you. So you can move the thumbnails around, just press the Q key. Move them into the other corners as well. You can zoom in with the mouse wheel, just hover, no clicking. When you go over the thumbnails, you just hover over each thumbnail to see it, no clicking. It's pretty cool. And if you ever want to go into the settings, you can see a lot of other options that you could choose. Transition effects, let's go for the slide. So now when I hover over each thumbnail, you see what's happening? It's sliding. So that is the slide effect. Now I personally don't like any transition effects. I just wanna see the photo, but you can do fade, fade and slide, scale, flip. You can experiment with them. I, I, I just prefer the none, so it just flips very quickly with no effort. There's also a cool fit down here. 
me show it to you. If I choose fill, what does it do? It fills my entire browser window. So now I don't see any black bars. The hotkey is X. X, you can see the full image with everything. X again, you see the image zoomed in to completely fill out your browser space. I like this mode because I don't have to, uh, you know, I don't have to see any black. I don't like black bars. But anyway, this is the default view fit, uh, which you can toggle with the X key. We also have a theater mode, which you can just press T for theater. Theater mode hides all of the interfaces. You can see what's happening here. And you can also just click the theater mode button down here, but that keeps these buttons visible because it's the only way you can come back out of theater mode unless you know the T key. But if you press T, it even hides that little piece. So we put a lot of thought into the gallery to make it easy to use, to make it let you focus on the image. You can even press the Z key. Z key hides the thumbnails. It's like zooming in so you just see the image. And look what happens. You all automatically get a navigator. But if you don't want to show that navigator, just press the T key. Now you have an unobstructed view. And if you press X to fill mode, it's completely filled your browser space with just the image. And you can use the arrow keys, left, right, or WASD. So AD to go next and previous. I'm going to bring back the buttons by pressing T. And I'm going to press the Z to bring back the thumbnails so to zoom back out. There's also F for full screen and many other features that you can discover just by playing with the interface. This little eye gives you all the image details. Here you can see the resolution, the size, the file name. This is a very strange file name. And uh, I actually need to change my file name. So I just realized those are like some random characters. So yes. Give heartbeat.photos a try. Give heartbeatmoments.com a try. And uh, give heartbeat.love a try. These are all the new products we've been building for you, Freedom Family. You will be able to make money from Heartbeat Moments and Heartbeat Photos because we will pay you 5% of all monetized content on Heartbeat. And we won't just pay you, we will pay everyone who that content. You write an article using a photo or a piece of music or a video clip from someone else. We will pay you, the writer, and the photographer, and the person who made the clip using Heartbeat Moments. Everybody gets paid. It's not just one person, which is what YouTube does. It's one improvement we're making over YouTube. But guys, we're not a YouTube competitor. You can't upload videos to Heartbeat. You embed them from your YouTube channel. Your YouTube channel grows if you use Heartbeat. You don't just grow on Heartbeat, you also grow on YouTube when people watch your embedded videos and then go to your channel. If they like what they see, they'll subscribe to you. It's a way of getting your audience to grow faster on both platforms. Heartbeat and YouTube, it's like peanut butter and jelly. Two tastes that taste great together. In this case, work together. All right, Freedom Family, check it out. Also check out my favorite moments. When you follow my heartbeat, I spent a lot of time uh, collecting the things that really matter to me. Things like uh, music, things like MMOs, things like NASA, a space experiment where they dropped a hammer and a feather on the moon. Let me show that one to you. It's really cool. This is it. This is an astronaut. The moment I recorded is the exact moment where the hammer and the feather fall and reach the ground at the same time. Now on Earth, what would happen, right? The feather would kind of slowly go down because of air friction and the hammer right to the bottom. But this is proving Galileo's theory that objects of different mass, meaning a light feather and a heavy hammer, will accelerate to the Earth at the same time if there is no air friction in a vacuum, like on the moon where there is no atmosphere, no air. It's a really cool experiment. Reading about it is one thing, but seeing it in action is so much more powerful and interesting, is it not? So we're going to be able to combine clips like this with articles that describe anything, a game review, an experiment, a product review, your opinions about Spain, and you'll be able to see the paragraph you're reading by clicking the link to see the video clip without imagining it or just seeing the photo. 
actually, we already have that built at vi.ki. Let me show you. Vicky is our video wiki. Vicky is a concept that doesn't exist in the world. It's something brand new that we invented. Let me show it to you. So if we go to the space page, I was just talking about the NASA uh, mission to the moon. Here we have the full description of what happened. And if you click this link, 32, and I'll uh, drop the two of them here, and hopefully they'll hit the ground at the same time. And if you that? just want to see the, uh, the, the drop, you just click this link. You don't have to wait for him to speak. You just see the final punchline right away. That? Not only for uh, space, <laughs> but you can do it for games. Mention game reviews. Here is... Valheim. It's a game where you can get killed by a tree falling on your head. Of course, describing it doesn't do it justice. You need to see it. Okay, show me. <laughs> this is YouTube's internet, not ours. Come on, YouTube. You can do it. And the tree falls down. Boom. And it bloody hits me on the head. Died. Well, this game's... That is much more powerful than seeing a screenshot or seeing a text description of the event. You can see the actual video clip. This is what Heartbeat is going to do. Let you write articles, combine it with video clips and photos, like this is a photo, together in a single platform that lets you monetize your content and make money, and every contributor gets paid fairly. Pay one person, and that one person is supposed to pay everyone fairly, which always happen so we will do it at the platform level and all of this is something we are building now with you so join heartbeat heartbeat.photos and heartbeat.love and uh, check out all the other links down there in the description below and let's build this together guys this is all about a team effort and I am so excited to be building heartbeat we've been building on top of YouTube for 10 years now about time we built something of our own that helps YouTube grow and gives us full control over policies, rules. No 4K, 1K rule on Heartbeat, guys. On YouTube, you have to reach a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours before you can make a penny. On Heartbeat, you get monetized from the first piece of content you upload, like YouTube used to. No $100 threshold, guys, on YouTube. Even once you're monetized, you have to wait till you've earned $100 before you see your first paycheck. On Heartbeat, you earn a penny, you get paid a penny right away if you choose to. And that's only possible with PayPal, obviously a bank transfer. You can't send a penny because the fees are more than a penny. But on PayPal, you can actually receive a penny for no fees just to give you that incentive, that excitement that, hey, I earned something. This platform actually pays. That part is already built and working, guys. So we've been taking all the tech that we built as a YouTube MCN, put it into Heartbeat, and we're building new tech that we've never built before, like photos and moments, to make it a better experience, a richer experience for you, for the creator. That's our target audience. We, you are our boss. We serve you. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you like. Comments below. Email support at freedom.tm. Click the send feedback button on any of our products. There are many ways for you to tell us what you think so we can build it and make it useful to you. Be useful. That's our mission statement with Heartbeat. We're going to save you time. We're going to help you make money. And we're going to be useful to create tools that help you do things you could never do before. Heartbeat Photos, a better, a better way to view your photos. A click list gallery, just hover. Heartbeat Moments, a better way to save the clips as you watch any YouTube video, just press the H key. That way you'll never lose those exciting moments and you'll be able to come back to them easily, share them with friends and family, where before you couldn't. We're doing a lot more with the Viki, the video wiki, combining text, videos, and writing in a single platform. There's many more products we're building in our roadmap, but this is where we're getting started. I would say Heartbeat is about 1% done. 
only 1% of Heartbeat is built with Vicky, the Heartbeat photos and Heartbeat moments. You can imagine how much more we have to build. Like Heartbeat Studio, where you'll be able to see all your revenue and views and analytics just like in YouTube Studio. Heartbeat Studio, you'll see how many views your photos got, your moments got, your articles got, how much money each made, and a lot of other statistics. So that's coming soon. Anyway, my point is, guys, we have a lot to build, and I hope you will join us with this journey. You can follow everything on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash freedom. On that channel, you will Hi, see freedom. this. There's a lot of videos talking about, like, showing you the channel ID, where before it was hidden, heartbeat moments surfaces that again. We talk about photos, we talk about dog poop, a little bit of a fun and uh, lots of other tips to help you grow. So check out youtube.com slash freedom and check out our heartbeat products. And until the next episode, guys, did you get your exercise today? I didn't, but I will. I'm gonna go jogging after this video. Who am I? I am your Papa George, your George Sun Pie, this guy. Your Obi-Wan George Nobi and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom family, has given me and founder of Freedom! <clears throat> Try that again. A freedom! <laughs> For freedom and the Freedom Family, where we all help each other grow together as a family. That is the spirit of freedom. That will never change. Grow together. Till the next episode, be safe, get your exercise, eat your veggies, stay healthy, stay fit, all those good things so you live a nice, happy, long life like I'm trying to do. By the way, guys, I'm going to be 48 very soon in a few days. Did you know that? I don't even feel 48. I feel 38, maybe even 28 some days, although that's pushing it. But I feel great. And I feel great because I get my exercise regularly, I sleep regularly, and I eat a vegetarian diet. Did you know that I've been eating plant-based foods a lot more than any other foods? I try to stay away from dairy, eggs, milk, cheese. Ah, cheese is dairy and cheese is actually very processed and very bad for you, apparently. Uh, no fish, no meat, just vegetables, broccoli, spinach, beans, uh, carrots, uh, 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 cabbage, uh, nuts, lots of options, protein for all the vitamins and minerals. Guys, think about this. What do animals eat? plants. So by eating animal meat, you're really just eating plant meat that's been digested by animals. Go to the source. Go to the source, I mean. Eat the plants directly. Why do you go through plants to animal guts to you? Just the plants. That's how I feel. Uh, it makes sense to me why you can get all the nutrients you need from plants. And I've seen a lot of documentaries now that also corroborate how, you know, there's many omnivores out there, like a bear. A bear is an omnivore. They eat meat and plants. They have a very short intestine. Carnivores, like lions and tigers that just eat meat, they also have a very short intestine. How long is our intestine? Pretty long, guys. We have a very long intestine, which suggests that it was made to eat fibers, things that take a long time to digest. Meat, because it's full of bacteria, it needs to go through your digestive system quickly so it doesn't make you sick. That's why true carnivores and omnivores have a very short intestine. We've been biologically built to have long intestines, which means we're designed to eat fruits and vegetables and plant-based diets. Again, these are things I've learned by watching documentaries something I've always known, something I've learned recently. That's what's convincing me to be more of a vegetarian. Look, I'll still eat some fish, meats, dairy products. If everyone is eating them, I don't mind it. It's not like I completely stay away from it. But my focus is on plant-based diet and try to only eat that. Meaning I don't always eat that. Anyway, I feel great and I can tell you it works. So hopefully, Hey, work.
for you. Okay, this is getting into a long video. I didn't mean to get into this diatribe. It's a fulminating piece of invection. And I know that because I used the word diatribe in a Scrabble game versus Big C, and I got my seven letter word, 50 points. He was not happy about it. So, diatribe. Curtis, if you're watching, I know you remember that. So, try it in your Scrabble game, maybe. Fulminating piece of infection. Look up one word and you have to look up four more words in the dictionary, right? Definition. So, apologies for the diatribe. I'll keep it shorter in the next video, unless you enjoy these diatribes. If so, tell me down there in the comments below and I'd be happy to talk about many things in the future. Until then, my name is George and you've been watching Ooh, you dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that I to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.